So starting off, feet about hip width apart, toes pointing slightly out, normal warm up stretches, and squat down nice and low, stretch up nice and high. Nice long full range of motion, getting the body moving. Working through those, spot on. And relax off there, we'll go for that lunge in, twist over the front knee, and just alternate the leg you're stepping into. Remember, you want to do it nice and low, and get that full rotation in there. So you're pointing your chest whichever way you're turning, you're not just looking which way you're turning, you want to get the chest facing that way. Stretch out the obliques, get some of those smaller muscles in the hips moving about as well. Getting the blood flowing around the body, especially for those smaller areas. You want everything ready to work. It's horrible getting injuries on small muscles. Spot on, keeping those going. Again, just to control tempo, it's not about getting loads of reps, it's about that full range of motion. And then just even out on those. Next one, feet parallel, toes pointing forward, legs about hip width apart. Little bend in the knee, I want you to roll down towards your toes. Plenty of movement through the back, arching the spine. Stand up into that wide shape. So you're stretching down all the way to the floor, folding over to your toes. Stand up into that Y shape. It's a nice long, slow range of nice long range of movement, but a slow tempo. Do these really quick. It's gonna feel horrible. Your head going low, head going high, everything like that. We'll give you a horrible head rushy feeling. So just keep it at a controlled pace. Really focus on getting that bend in the spine, getting some movement through those lower back muscles. Keeping those going. And relax off from those. Last one, arms up straight, palm down. You're going to draw back, turn those palms up to the ceiling and just alternate your top hand, working through those. Some of these a little bit higher, some of them a little bit lower. Most important, alternate those hands and really make sure you are stretching out the chest. So you're reaching nice and far back as you turn those palms up. So you wanna feel that pulling all the way across the chest when you turn those palms up. That's where you're gonna get the extra stretch. Keeping those going. Spawn, remember to alternate those heights a little bit. And then relax off there. Right, so body should be warmed up, 
Should feel a little bit looser now, a little bit more ready to move. Gonna stay with the same sort of focus as we did on Monday. So it'll be one minute on, 20 off, one minute on, 20 off, one minute on, and then a longer rest break. So we'll start on part one. Nice and simple, this is just to get the body moving and the heart rate up. It's gonna be 10 reps of jogging. So just counting each footstep. So these are not high knees or explosive, just gentle jogging, eight, nine, 10. And then side kicks up to 10 as well. Seven, eight, nine, 10, back to jogging. Seven, eight, nine, 10, back to side kicks. Eight, nine, 10. Right, let's get you ready. So this one's not meant to be a super fast tempo, especially for the third round at least. It's just to get the heart rate up, whole body moving, almost like an extension of the warm-up. And we'll be going into that in three, two, one. In we go. So counting each step. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Out to the side. And back to jogging. Ten reps of each. Always on the move. So as soon as the foot hits the floor, you get it moving again. Keeping those going. That's 20 seconds gone. When you kick out to the side, don't feel like you've got to kick super high and stretch too much. Just gently kicking out to the side, keeping the movement going over halfway. Final 15 seconds. Three, two, one, relax off there. Get your breath back, that's the first round gone. Now we can increase that tempo a little bit, start up in the intensity level a little bit more. But again, get the form controlled first, get in your rhythm, then increase the speed. In, three, two, one, in we go, same again. Straight back in, 10 reps of jogging, 10 of those side kicks. <clears throat> 20 seconds out of the way should be in rhythm should have found your tempo got comfortable with it now you increase that speed a little bit get the intensity levels up by increasing that speed Final 15 seconds, control that breathing. That's the most important bit. This is almost like a little steady state round. So the breathing is what's gonna get you through. Three, two, one, relax off there. 20 seconds to breathe. And then we'll go into the third and final round of those. You wanna find your rhythm as quickly as you can on the final round. So final round is always where you put the most effort in, try and almost max out. You want to feel out of breath and tired by the end of it. In three, two, one, in we go. Straight back in. Start getting a bit more power into the jogging now. A bit more speed. Then into those side kicks. Nice and light on the feet. Keeping those going. 20 seconds right the way. Final 20 seconds of work now, keep those going. Keep the effort, keep the breathing. Three, two, one, relax off there. So that's three rounds of those complete. Get your breath back, it's the longer rest break. Next round we're gonna go into is gonna be four sprawls with four shoulder taps. So for the sprawls from a long arm plank position, what you do is take, take a hand and the opposite foot off, turn, extend that leg. That's one, two, three, 
four, four shoulder taps, four, same again, alternating which way you're turning with the sprues, alternating which hand you're tapping that shoulder with. Let's get you ready. So on your mats, get yourself set, and we'll be going into those in three, two, one. And we go four sprawls, four shoulder taps. Remember on those sprawls to keep your balance, keep the first few slow and controlled. On those shoulder taps, keep the core engaged and try and keep yourself as stable as possible. You don't want to be shaking into each shoulder tap, leaning from side to side. You want to be nice and stable, halfway there. Fifteen seconds to go. In three, two, one. Relax off there. Round one gone. Catch your breath. Get your recovery. Stay on those mats. We'll be back in very soon. Make sure you've got drinks with you. Always go a gentle sip to your drink. You don't want to be taking huge chugs. Having that sitting in your stomach, feeling horrible for the rest of the class. In three, two, one. Straight back in we go. Same movement, same effort. Find that rhythm and tempo nice and early. Get your form controlled. Halfway there. Final 15 seconds. Squeeze those abs on the shoulder taps. Fully rotate on those sprawls. Let's get the core working. It's going to get the obliques and the whole of the transverse abdominis going. For three, two, one, relax off there. 20 seconds, catch your breath, get some recovery, and then we'll get into third and final round on those. In three, two, one, in we go. Final round, straight in. Twenty seconds out of the way. Twenty seconds remaining, keeping it going. Keep the effort, keep pushing through. Shoulders and core want to be burning by the end of this one a little bit. Just over 10 seconds to go. And gonna be relaxing off in three, two, one, relax off there. Next one, I'm gonna stay on the mat. What we're gonna do with this one is gonna be four crunch thrusts. So for those, what we're doing is sit on your hands, pull the knees to your chest, and then kick up at the ceiling. Two, three, and four, after the fourth, keep your feet up there. Gonna go for a crucifix crunch. So two, three, four, sit back on the hands, and then back into crunch thrusts for four as well. So four and four, leaving the feet up after the fourth one, then four of those crucifix crunches. Let's get you ready. In three, two, one, and we go. Straight in. Three, 
four crunch thrusts, four crucifix crunches. Really gonna destroy the abs on these. Your main focus, every time you kick up from the crunch thrust or every time you reach up in that crucifix crunch, exhale as much as you can. Empty lung, pardon me. Empty lungs when you contract your abs is what you're looking for. Keeping those going. <clears throat> 20 seconds to go. Burn that core, really get the abs working. I know there's snow outside, but summer's not that far away. Let's blitz the abs, get those working. Three, two, one, relax. Round one out of the way, nice and early, spot on. Get your breath back, get your recovery. We'll be going straight back in in just over 10 seconds time. In. Three, two, one. And we go straight back in. One minute of work once again. Find your rhythm, find the tempo you can work at. Just like Monday, just like last week, just like every time we do circuits, try and sit at that eight to nine out of 10 effort level. So you're really struggling by the end of the minute. 20 seconds out of the way already. Keep pushing. Still focus on that big, strong exhale every time. You can track those abs, so whether that's reaching up for your feet or as you kick those feet into the air, whichever one it is for whichever exercise you're on. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. Relax off there. Twenty seconds to rest. Then we'll get into the third and final round on these. Let's get you ready. That'll be part three out of the way. That'll always put us halfway through. And in three, two. One, in we go, straight in. Explode up into those crunch thrusts, then really try and reach for your toes in those crucifix crunches. Full range of motion is gonna make it even more stressful for the core to get through. Just gone past halfway. Keep pushing, keep the effort. Ten seconds left. Keep pushing, keep the effort. Keep working hard. Going to be relaxing off in. Three, two, one, relax off there. Catch your breath, let yourselves recover, slow that breathing down. Might try to take a little backwards bend to stretch off the core a little bit for a few seconds. Next one, we'll be starting from standing and all it's gonna be, it's gonna be a burpee, but we're gonna add in four plank jacks at the halfway point. So bring your hands down, feet back. Two, three, four, feet back forward. Up into your star jumps, so feet back, four plant jacks, feet forward, explode up, finish your burpee. So it's a burpee, but with four plank jacks added into that middle part. Let's get you ready. And in three, two, one, and we go straight in. Always keeping those effort levels high. Main thing on the plank jacks I've found is to just not overthink them. Just go as natural as you can with the movement. Don't worry about trying to get your feet super wide or anything like that. 
Just focus on staying on your toes, back to wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow. Complete the burpee. 20 seconds to go. Should be comfortable with your form, should be in rhythm and pushing up to that eight to nine out of 10 on your intensity scale. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Let's relax off there. That's the first round of these gone. With how blitzed the core is and the shoulders as well. I've taken some abuse earlier on. These will feel difficult. It's completely normal if you feel knackered after every rep. But really just try, try and find that. The, try and find where your limit is. In three, two, one. Back in we go. Find that limit and work just on the border of it. That's where the progress is made. Get that rhythm and increase that tempo when you're used to the form. You've just hit halfway on round two. Final 15 seconds, as many good reps as you can get done. Get them done. Still focused on keeping that breathing controlled, though. Don't forget about the breathing. In three, two, one. Relax off there. Catch your breath. Get as much recovery as you can. Quick sip of your drink if you need it. One more round of those to get out of the way. And in three, two, one. In we go. Final round. Straight in, straight in, straight in, straight in. Find the rhythm, find the tempo you can just about sustain. This is the third and final round, so this is where you push yourself. Absolutely max out. You want to feel like you're dead to the world by the end of this round. Earn that longer rest break and keep pushing through. There's your halfway point. If you're not struggling yet, up that tempo. Increase the intensity. Make it as hard as you can for yourself. 20 seconds to go. Fifteen seconds to go. Don't ease off. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Ten seconds. Going to be relaxing in three, two, one. Relax off there. Catch your breath. Get your recovery. Forty seconds to recover. Next round we're going to look at is going to be ten mountain climbers followed by two tuck jumps. So for those starting your long arm plank, just running with your knees close to the floor. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Up to standard, two and one, two. Straight back to the floor, ten mountain climbers. If you're not comfortable with those top tuck jumps, you can go for two squat jumps instead. Just remember to cushion your landing on those squat jumps. And we'll be getting you ready to go in about ten seconds time. Ten mountain climbers. Two tuck jumps. If you don't like the tuck jumps, two squat jumps. In three, two, one. In we go. Just start with a steady tempo on those mountain climbers. And whether you're going tuck jump or squat jump, big exhale as you leave the floor. If you don't want to go one into the other, go in tuck jump, tuck jump. You can hit your tuck jump, pause, reset, hit your other one. Completely up to you, whatever works for you. Keeping it going. Over halfway there. Just coming into those final 15 seconds. Keep pushing, keep the effort. Round one's going to be out of the way in three, two, 
One, relax off there, catch your breath. Round one out of the way, two more to go. Ten mountain climbers, two tuck jumps or squat jumps. Coming up in three, two, one. Straight back in we go. Get your tempo, find your rhythm nice and early. Push through, keeping the effort the whole way. 20 seconds is gone, you should have found your rhythm. Getting more comfortable with the form again. Final 10 seconds. Keep pushing, keep your effort. Three, two, one. Relax off there, nice. One more round of these to get out of the way. Slow that breathing down, get yourselves ready. Blitz the last round of these. And in three, Two, one, and we go, straight in. Get yourselves into your rhythm. Third and final round means you want to be working as close to that 10 out of 10 effort as you can, pushing yourselves as much as you can. That's 20 seconds out of the way. You should already feel out of breath. You should already start to be struggling if you're working at that nine to 10 out of 10 rating. So really make sure the effort level's up there. Ten seconds left. Keep pushing, keep working. Squeeze in as many reps as you can. In three, two, one. Relax off there. Catch your breath and relax. One more part to go. What we're going to go with is going to be one press up. So just start in that long arm plank. Bend the arms, elbows staying tight. Press up. Quickly change. We're going to get into a dish hold. We're going to do what's called a dish rock. We're just going to try and lean the back off the floor. Rolling forward, pushing the feet down for 10 reps. So you keep the keep your lower back down the whole way. You're just rocking forward and back, lifting the upper back off the floor. 10 of those, one press up, 10 of those, one press up. Let's get you ready in three, two, one. In we go. So one press up, elbows nice and tight, press the floor away. Quickly roll to the back, get your dish hold first, and then just imagine rocking forward to get your upper back off the floor and let yourself fall back. Do them under control and don't do it all with momentum, but make sure it's a breath out as you raise up. And imagine you're almost pulling yourself up from your hands, pushing your heels down, but keeping those legs as straight as you can handle. Halfway there. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. Relax off there. Twenty seconds to breathe and recover. It's the first one of those gone. If you find this hold, oh. I can't do it at all. You can't do it. No. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it. I can't either. I just completely lose it. Yeah. I think doing 10 as well is too many. That's like my abs aching. 
That's what and I feel would... like I'm swinging. Just feel like I'm swinging, and it's I'm bending in the middle. Yeah, I was doing more of a like that. What we'll do is we'll drop it to four, and instead of doing the um, dish tips, all we'll do is we'll go from a dish to a V, back to a dish, back to a V. Right. So okay. So you're doing sort of like a dish hold into a tuck. Okay. Hips. I didn't like the other one. <laughs> that one's good. <laughs> we'll give that. Yeah. A we'll go with a dish into almost like a V tuck, and then one press up. And let's get ready. In three, two, one, and then we go. So dropping down, one press up, quick change, starting, <laughs> and tuck your knees into your chest. Three, four, push change. Straight back to there. Nice and low on the press up. Go for your knees if you need to on the press up as well. Halfway. Final 10 seconds. For three, two, one. Relax off there. 20 seconds to breathe. How are we feeling? Better or worse? A bit better, but I still don't know if I'm doing it right. I feel like I'm, I'm losing my form a bit because I'm tired. I feel like it's just going a bit all over the place. <laughs> if you need to, just keep a bend in your knee during the dish at the start. Yeah. So bent, bit more bent knees, bit more bent legs. And yeah. work. Let's get you ready. We've got one round left. Happier. <laughs> one round left, one minute of hard work left in the class. And we'll start that in three, two, one. In we go. And start that long arm plank. One nice and low press up. Quick change. If you need to, just start with bent knees and just tuck the upper body up to it. As long as it's burning the core, it is doing the right thing. So don't worry if it's not picture perfect form that you see on like a YouTube tutorial for it. As long as you're feeling it in your core and not your lower back, it's going right. Keeping those going, we're over halfway. I'm going to move you back onto here. Oh. Oh. And in three, two, one, relax. Let yourself relax. Pop yourself off mute. Thank you. Sorry, I <laughs> moaned. No, that's all right. No, I was a bit all over the place there, Matt, to be honest. No, so the thing we're doing those dish tips, when, uh, when we do mat work, obviously I'll look at my phone and I can't see you because you're sort of like below the camera. So I just go I know. Like, it's a bit know. weird. It's quite yeah. hard to give advice as well over Zoom, like form advice, because you can't. I know. Yeah, sometimes like you're just, they'll sort of freeze and then there'll be a next part of the exercise and stuff like that. So you're sort of like, um. Yeah. I feel like I was just swinging a bit there because I was tired and my stomach was aching. I feel That's like I was just not really doing yeah. it. There was quite a lot of abs. So I've been a bit of an ab craze today, so chuck, chuck the class, chuck the ab work. As long as your abs feel like they're burning, your lower back doesn't feel a lot like it's done yeah, a lot. Yeah, they did feel like they were hurting. That's right. Anyway, I'll give you, give you a few seconds to cool off, catch your breath and grab your drinks. And then we'll stretch off. I'm just going to run and look at the car park because there's been some really weird noises coming from it. <laughs> I, I was just thinking we should do like a limitless team Zoom fitness class. Yeah, we should. The trouble is, I find those shirts. I, I enjoyed. I I wore mine to to walk in on yeah. Sunday with my mid layer and my lightweight puffer, 
and I got soaked because we were out in the snow and I was dr- my the coat was dry inside when we got back and I felt really warm yeah but this one's quite thick they are too hot for training in really yeah I think so bike noises have been but we'll stretch off so again I know I say this every single time we stretch off but it is just maintenance stuff so it's not very for flexibility it's more for the health and like recovery of your muscles and joints start off legs straight toes pointing forward push those hips back let your head hang down reaching for your toes Uh, big breath out, reach for the ceiling, hip forward, wet on your heels, taking a slight backwards bend. And relax off there. Quads. And swap in similarly the side. And relax off there, hug both those arms out, dip your head, arch your upper back, push your shoulders away from yourself, draw your chest into your body. And then hug both arms all the way around. Chest forward, shoulders back. Imagine trying to meet your elbows together behind your back. And a straight arm across your body, looking over the shoulder you're stretching, holding there. And swap it, same on the side. And triceps, hand on the back of the opposite shoulder, pushing your elbow to follow your wrist. Hold in there. And swapping onto the other side, final stretch of the session. Gently breathing through. And relax off completely there.